All right, Dale. Show a stripping method for a 52-year-old man. One, two. I told him before he started the set, his calves needed to go all the way down. Three, this is not about the number. Four, see his arms locked out? Come on. Five, keep going. Six, seven, come on. You should buy her the world right now. You show him exactly how to do it. You show him exactly how to do it, Dale. You tell him, what's the magic secret? No secret. There's no secret. The magic secret is there's no secret. This is how you get calves. Come on. 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 Don't let the rate roll around like that. Come on. Come on. Now I want you to grab your calves. Grab the outsides of them. And just make them work. Think about it. Believe them. Will it to happen. Will them to grow. Now remember why you're here. This is the time where you gather your mind. I want you to make a beautiful face. And keep it. Find your happy spot. Come on. This is when we calm down a little bit. Sometimes it's go, 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 go. Get crazy, get crazy, get crazy. And the next time, it's literally find your mental state and push. If this was your rent check, if right now, if I told you you did 20 more and it'd pay your rent, Ugh. that house you live in, would you do 20 more? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Would you? No. <laughs> would you, Dale? Yeah. Come on. Find yourself. Find yourself. Now hold at the top. Hold. Up. Hold up. One. Hold. No, no. Hold. Oh, they're fucking what? done. I don't care. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They were not done. He just did ten seconds longer than he said after they were done. What does that mean? What does that mean? Is he injured? Are we taking him to the hospital? Sorry, it's 151. Always push past what you think you're done is, whether it be one rep, one second, one more squeeze, a little bit more drop, a full repetition as opposed to half. Push for that extra little bit. And when you get in your car and you drive home, you get to be proud of yourself. Accountability works both ways. You get to look at this heart rate monitor and go, wow, I didn't do what I was supposed to. And how do I know what I was supposed to do? Where did all that all of a sudden come from? Well, wow, and now I'm educated in my training. I've been watching davidkinley.com. I've been paying attention to what he says the heart rate monitor should be. And I looked down at mine and it didn't say that. Well, either A, I'm wasting my money paying a guy that I want to give me good advice and I'm just going to ignore it because I can't do it, or I was unwilling to do it. You now know this is possible. Push yourself as hard as you can and go home with that smile. You guys all think about it on the way to the gym. We all do. What are we going to do in there? How hard are we going to be? Are we going to be strong? Are we going to do this? Are we going to do that? Sometimes, I'll be honest with you, it's, it's another job. Sometimes it's literally, oh, God, what am I going to do tonight? I'm sore. I can barely walk. Sometimes it is that attitude, but you're going to kill it anyway. Either way around, you thought about it on the way to the gym, what you were going to do in the gym that day. Are you going to be proud of yourself when you leave? You need to think about that halfway through your workout, halfway through your first set. You need to think about how proud of yourself you want to be. That will kill any anxiety that you have, no matter how many pounds you have, no matter how many inches you need to lose or gain, it will relieve that anxiety because you know that every step taken at this gym, every bite taken on the other side of this dot com is towards your goal. No more uneducated steps. Good set, buddy. Heart rate coming down still. 138. He's burning fat right now. That's the idea. Weight training to burn fat. You can do it. Perfect fat burning zone, 139. He's not jogging on a treadmill. He's not going up a stepper. He's coming down from his calf exercise. Sick.